Welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to build a ground relay system using Remote Tech, uh, where we have nothing but ground stations to control any vessel that we put up there that has no pilots. Uh, so today we're going to build a uh, little relay station and then we're going to plant them all over the map here. So let's get started. Here we are in the VAB. We're going to build a little uh, relay unit. We're going to use the uh, Probodyne QBE. Uh, next we're going to grab a modular grid segment. Place it on top. We're going to utilities. We need some batteries. Grab the Z400s. Because we're going to need enough power to keep it functioning. We're also going to need the way to keep it from falling over. And that's your base. Now we need the. We shall grab. It's some structure parts. That's what I need. That's what I need. Grab that for the top. Grab panel for that. Back to utility. Now we need some solar panels. Here we'll use the two by threes. I only need two of them. And in science, we will grab our Communitron 32 as part of the remote tech package. And we also need to grab our Reflectron as our backup. Something should happen to our main antenna. We'll have a backup antenna. Both of them uh, have somewhat range. And we'll call this our <coughs> ground relay unit. We'll just leave it ground. We'll rename them as we go. And the final thing is to get a little bit ease. Custom one. We will set our panels. And custom two. We will toggle our antenna. And let's see. Now here's our basic unit uh, we launch it out onto the panel see it has connectivity press one our panels open up press two or antenna raises and there we have our mobile relay unit now how would we get it in place well we could try to Put a rocket underneath and launch it all the time, but um, you probably won't get it precise. So we're gonna cheat. <laughs> we're gonna grab the vessel mo mover tool. Uh, we're gonna move our vessel. Tab twice to get fast moving. And what I'm gonna do is hitting the W key. I'm gonna bring it all the way out here. I'm gonna try to find the tallest peak. That'll work for me. Tab, bring it 
down. <clears throat> Slowly bring her up to get a good position. Fine tune it. We're going to place it. I might want to move it just a wee bit. Reef oriented, there we go. All right, this will be station number one. I'll we'll call it Mountain One. We'll make it a base. Now, if you tried to launch this, you'd never get precise positioning. Is it cheating? Yeah, well, it gets you to where you need to be if you just want to create a, a map. Now, if we zoom in, we can see we have our link uh, where we are in the mountains. And the idea would be to spread these around uh, to the various locations to create a relay. Now I'm going to show you one I created earlier. Now here we are on another save that I did when I was testing this out and you can see that we've created a uh, system of uh, ground relays with ones in the mountains and I have ones I've experimented on the uh, water by assembling a little unit that kind of sits on some the floating uh, plane parts and kind of sits out in the water. Now that's not the most ideal because uh, as you get out onto the water you'll find that uh, you have to keep them closer and closer together because of uh, how close they sit to the ground. So it doesn't work that way. And as you get up towards the poles, unfortunately, once again, you have to keep them close together because of the curvature of the planet. Here I put it up a little higher to see if it made a difference. But it still has to remain quite close together. Most of these are quite close. Uh, as it as the surface curves, you lose uh, the ability for long distances. But here's ones in the mountain. This one fell over. <laughs> Slightly different design, but you get the picture. The goal would be to be able to uh, have a unit, have a satellite, be able to launch it with remote tech and keep it in range of multiple units even when it can't reach Even when it can't reach the uh, KSC by itself, Mission Control, it can still reach reach back. Here's the example where we have we're no longer direct connect. So now we're just relaying through a series of them. And as we fly a little further, as you can see, we're clearly no longer visible from there, but we maintain our connection. 
So that's how you can build a uh, relay uh, ground system in Remote Tech. So you can take this and turn it into a ground relay system. Now you can, of course, obviously spread and keep going around until you have. Now currently, the ground relays currently in this little map, I have 32 of them. So it will take time. It will take a lot of time to set this up uh, if you just wanted to have ground relay, say you're in the playing a career mode and you're uh, in the early days and you don't really have good space flight you can build a modified one uh, that just kind of stretches out to give you a little extra uh, uh, connection back as you uh, launch your ships so I hope you enjoyed and have fun experimenting thank you